Hey there Aquarius, welcome. I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be um, a general reading for the next gift from God and I want to let you guys know ahead of time that God can be uh, whatever God you believe in. God, Source, Spirit, Universe, whatever you call it. That's what I'm calling it for this reading, okay? Let's look here Aquarius. Wow, okay. Your overall energy here is the High Priestess. Um, this is a Pisces card, so some of you can have some Pisces in your chart or be connected with one in some way. But you start off with the Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Um, and especially with the High Priestess being your overall, um, it, it can be a card of like intuition. It can be a card of somebody who holds a lot of knowledge. Uh, but in this situation, with the Queen of Swords showing up with her back turned, I do feel as if for some of you, there's something that, um, you know, you didn't really see coming or you didn't really see before. It's like your back was turned to something here. And I think that with the Queen of Swords showing up, a truth is coming in about that. Okay, so whatever was behind this veil here, whatever's been being carried by someone else, I feel that you're you're going to be seeing the truth of that okay so even if this is just somebody carrying a lot of emotion with them here Aquarius that you weren't aware of like you're going to be seeing that I think for a small portion of you, you may have even manifested this Aquarius so this could be from a Virgo Gemini Libra okay let's get one clarifier out for that row Somebody here could have Saturn and Sagittarius, but whatever this truth is that's coming in for you guys, um, I feel that it is something that you wished for. It is something you manifested. It's like, why can't I access that? I want to access that. Let me manifest that. And then there it is. Then you have the Nine of Wands right here. Okay. So yeah, um, th this is a card of persistence. I mean, I just feel as if you guys like kept the faith here. You kept the faith um, and you kept it pushing because it's a card. It's like Wounded Warrior. That's why he's got the bandage on his head. It's like, despite not knowing or despite not having the answers, Aquarius, it's like you, you kept going. You kept having faith that you would get what you needed. And you do. Okay. That's exactly what goes on here. Then you have the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the Justice card, um, Libra. And then you have the Four of of Pentacles, Capricorn. Let's clarify this row really quick because both of these two cards are like hold, cards of holding back. All right, so let's look at this. The Judgment card. I mean, you have a lot of energies out here of cause and effect. You know, it's like whatever energy you put into something, it's coming back to you very easily um, here soon, Aquarius. Uh, because the Justice card is showing up, it's like what you put in, you receive back, you got the Magician. Um, you know, he's a channel between heaven and earth. So I do feel like you guys are getting wish fulfillment here. You're getting truth and you're getting wish fulfillment. Now, for some of you, that truth is just, um, it's, it's something you manifested, but it may not be something that you want to hear, you know. Uh, with that Page of Swords, this is somebody who, um, isn't really willing to swing the sword. You could be watching and waiting on a person to communicate something to you and they finally do this. They finally offer you some kind of truth and it's like you still kind of hold on to what you wanted that truth to be. So just be careful with this here, Aquarius, um, with doing that because it's like do you really want the truth or do you want um, the real, the actual truth that you know intuitively to be different. You know, do you want them to tell you something different? That's what you really need to ask yourself here in this situation. Some of you may have your moon in Sagittarius, but that's, or your moon in Cancer, but that's something that I'm feeling here very strongly. Some of you could be trying to manifest a truth, but at the same time, it's like subconsciously, you already know the truth. You know, intuitively, you already know the truth. It's just that you may be wanting a different answer. And when that comes in, it's like you're still kind of holding on and you're still kind of stuck. So, you know, whatever time you may have spent trying to manifest that truth, um, you could have spent putting that into healing and releasing that, you know. Um, so let's go ahead and get on into this row right here. King of Pentacles, Taurus Energy, Four of Cups, Moon in Cancer, and the Queen of Wands, Aries Energy. Let's get a clarifier out here for that and see what's happening with all of that. But I do believe that, you know, after, after this truth comes in for you guys, you've got the judgment card here. I do believe that you choose to move on from it. You choose to let it go um, because it's not what you thought. It's not what you expected. you got the emperor right here, okay? And I do see you healing and stepping back into a place of personal power with the emperor showing up. And the queen of wands, really. It's like you gain your confidence back in a situation. Um, you know, I think that a lot of you guys, you may start to work on your money here, okay? Um, the four of cups showing up. It's like you keep returning to the root of a situation and, you know, trying to figure out where to 
how did I put this here, Aquarius? Uh, try, trying to figure out, it seems like you're trying to figure out where to place blame, honestly. It's like, where, where do I place blame here in this situation? And for some of you guys, it's like um, a portion of that would come back on you in a situation here. So I think that that's something that's taking place. Um, now, it's not that it's, it's going to all come back on you, of course, but when you realize that you may have had a little bit of control over the situation, Aquarius, maybe some of you, you recognized the truth in the beginning and you decided to see it as something else. Maybe you built a false perception. Maybe you built an illusion. And you're like, well, you know what? I knew the truth all along. My intuition tried to tell me and I ignored it. It could be something like that and you're choosing um, to accept that, you know, and, and it's making you more confident in your intuition, for one, making you more confident in yourself, and two, it's showing you that you did have some power over this situation and that is helping you to heal and move on for some of you here. Uh, but I do see wish fulfillment overall. Some of you, maybe you're manifesting something in regards to work or money and I see that coming in for you as well. But wish fulfillment overall as well as a major truth for you guys. So um, that's what I'm seeing here for you Aquarius um I know it was kind of specific and uh, I know a few parts of it were kind of hard to hear but if it's not yours feel free to not take it on just don't claim it okay um but you're also more than welcome to watch out for your other signs but if this is where we part thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy the rest of your day bye